All right, good morning. It is the next day. Um, it is three o'clock in the morning and I'm up here. I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and take the rest of this header apart. I have John Deere coming up today. They are, one of them is working on my tractor. Um, I have a bunch of SCVAs in the back. It's not the actual SCVA. It's some kind of tube and O-rings through it that's leaking. And it's been leaking for a while, but they told me to get through planting season with it and they would come down. Uh, the thing about that tractor is everything my tractor does, it runs continuous every single outlet that I have on it. Cause with both planters, um, the drill, even the spreaders, it's just always in continuous mode, always. So it's been leaking enough and now it's really leaking. So. I got one coming to do that. Two guys are coming to take this whole auger off because right where, let's see, where's it at? Let me gotta do everything backwards. Right there where the pivot point is, there's some bushings in there and they are worn out. And she throws a code on the monitor. We weren't sure if the fire had something to do with it, but they said the bushings are worn out. So they are gonna pull the auger off and because, and I hate this about deer, I'm thinking it's because of that great big cast iron, that's an auger, it folds around in the back and we never use it. But that's a lot of weight on there. I really would like to have the longer auger without that crap on there, but that is a huge cast iron piece. The new ones, I think they beefed them up because the 780 that we use it actually sticks back a little bit further and uh i don't know if you can see it or not but right she's actually hit there before when the bushings this is the second time we replaced them but she's got a big hydraulic cylinder and the way they designed it when the bushings go out and everything she drops down a little bit and it actually hit the side of the combine the new ones they made further back that fold so i guess if that happens it doesn't hit your combine but i think they actually beefed them up or, or did something new to them so they don't have that problem anymore but anyway they're coming out to take that off fix it so we're gonna have three guys from the east new market down here today uh sherry called me last night she is the service boss and she's on her game too i really like east new market um them boys when they come down here they get stuff fixed and they bring stuff with them to fix stuff. It ain't like, well, I got to run back and then you don't see them for two or three days or it takes them three days to fix something. They come down and get it fixed. And I'm really impressed. I'm really glad we switched to them. They get stuff done. But also, when I talked to her last night, I told her I was rebuilding this header. But you got to have a special tool to take these rollers off. I can unbolt them and do all that, but you got to have a puller and i don't have it they have it and she said that she will have one of them bring it down and she said she's going to tell them when one of them if they don't once they get some stuff off and one of the guys is doing some work if they don't need them he's got to come pull these and help put it back together and yeah everything costs money when you deal with deer but man i tell you I couldn't be more happy and more impressed that they get stuff fixed. Is it expensive? Sure it is. Everything is. But they really work when they're here. So I got up here early because they'll probably be here at 8 or 9. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling everything apart, except for the rollers because I can't get them off anyway. But at least I'll have this much done to save me that much money from them having to do it. Um, if I could just, if I had to, the puller myself, I'd go ahead and pull them off and just do it all myself. But I don't have the puller, and I don't know how expensive it is. I've seen it. It's pretty big. But hopefully this is the last time we rebuild this header because the new style headers, you don't have to have that crap. They just have the nut on the end of the rollers, undo it, slide right off, slide a new one on, put the nut on, you're done. Um, but we're going to rebuild this one and use her for a while so but this is what we got anyway i'm gonna get to it
All right, I don't know how well you'll be able to see me, but it's hard to find a stand to do anything. So what I'm gonna do is just take all this top stuff off and the deck plates, uh, keep the bolts all separate. I'm gonna run all the way down, hurry up and knock that out. And uh, then I'll come underneath and pull these bottom plates off and get everything out of the way. So hopefully that will take care of that. Actually, I gotta loosen up the loosen up the chains first, dog. What am I doing? What am I doing? Better. These chains are all junk. All junk. Throw all that in the junk pile. Deck plates in the junk pile. Get them out of my way. one of those days. They didn't give me the one thing deer didn't give me was let me show you so deer didn't give me springs and this they must be okay they came down looked at it and told me that's all i needed so instead of having to undo this every time i'm just going to undo these two bolts and pull this up now i do got to put new sprockets on but i can do that while they're on the machine after i put it back together that's pretty easy before i tighten everything up i gotta undo these two bolts right here that takes the deck plates off um i'm replacing the front sprockets not the back sprockets they seem to be good they thought um but they did not give me new bolts and springs so i'm assuming they thought they were okay i guess they can go another round so they're gonna have to so i'm not even gonna i unbolted them from the front thing but honestly i don't really have to do that i can bolt everything back on and then loosen it up while it's on there to get the new chains on so that's what i'm going to do just to speed this process up this morning so i'm just going to take these two bolts out and then this can pull sideways is what i'm saying i can undo the chain leave this connected just for now 
when I put the new on, I'll bolt this on and then I can just loosen this up, take a bunch of tension off of it to get, to push, you push this right here up. So I'll undo it, push it up, put the new chain on, tighten it back up. But I guess I could do that, but then you're looking at a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff this morning. I don't know what I'll do. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll do it while they're off. Cause I can get to, I can get to it a lot easier with it off than I can with it on there. But as you can see, some of them are differently adjusted. And I remember when we rebuilt this thing three years ago, we put all this new on. I don't know why they didn't send me new ones. Maybe I should go get new ones to make sure I got them. I mean, why put everything else new on and not them? I don't know. But that was the old John Deere call. And I'll see what the new guys think now. But I'm going to get get at it. This row right here, this all got replaced last year. New rollers. Of course, it doesn't work right. It keeps pushing the row over. And if you push her too hard, she'll smoke. So I think it's the clutch is actually bad in the back. I think the clutch is bad. Of course, they never checked it, but... I kept telling them they didn't do something right and they didn't believe me. But we're going to fix that while we got her in here because I'm not dealing with that crap this year. That was a nightmare last year. But, and I like these tips. They slide on and lock. You can really see them going through the field. And at nighttime, when you got your lights on when you're cutting, all these little things right here glow. And, man, you can see them really good at nighttime. I really like them. The only downside is... My dad backed up with it down a little bit last year, and it will pull them off, and you lose them if you don't pay attention. So you got to make sure you pick the header up just a fraction if you get caught in some morning glories or something. But I sprayed. I went around the field. I didn't see any this year. Last year we had a little patch here and there. But this year it seems like I did everything at the right time, and it cleaned it up nice. So we shall see. So we got John Deere here. They are working on the – auger of the combine i got it just about done then they're gonna forward the header and then i got the other john deere guy he's on the tractor right now fixing the scvs so i'll show you what was wrong with the combine here in a second once i get out there all right well they got the combine auger done they said it wouldn't put on right in the first place so they actually i mean adjusted it and really I never thought it just sat in the cradle right anyway after they fixed it before, not this one, but the other Atlantic tractor place. It wasn't right, but they got it right. I'll show you what happened to it. And then uh, the other deer guy, he is, I had one SCVA on the back of my tractor out and my brother actually had four out. And I got all the, I actually got my hands on like eight of these John Deere SCVAs because they are six months back ordered. And some of my buddies that work at the parts thing knew where some were, hooked me up with six of them. So thank you guys, because they're coming in handy now. But I'll tell you what was wrong with the auger. This bushing, you can see in there, it was wore out. So they replaced that whole plate, it comes off and these rollers that one of the John Deere guys put on last year was put on backwards. That's why I kept complaining, saying it wouldn't feed corn in. Well, that's because they were turning out instead of turning in. So I went through the whole corn season complaining to them that something wasn't right, and they kept telling me it was right. This guy come down here in three seconds said, no, they're on backwards. So that's what I've had to work with the whole time, and this is why we got a different... I, these guys right here, I love them to death. Wouldn't trade for anything. If I won the lottery tonight, the billion dollar lottery, them boys are getting hooked up. But they're coming back Thursday. They went in and ordered the sprockets and the clutch on this one, being as it was doing that, they said the clutch is bad. So they're going to come back Thursday, redo all this. Everything's good on her now. Combine is good shape get the header right it'll be done we got both 8335 r's out here um mine's done he's working on my brother's nail all 
All right, so we fixed one there and one down there. And then all these tubes, you see the tubes in the center? The O-rings, when we pulled them out, were completely gone because she had been leaking pretty bad all planting season. But they told me, get through planting season, then we fix it. So she's done. Then on my brother's tractor, he had two, four, six were leaking. And you can see, oh, he don't keep his tractor. Like, I keep mine, Rizzo. See how mine's shiny. Anyway, but we fixed all of them, too, while he was here. So, so it all worked out pretty good, Steve. He is a really good John Deere mechanic. Really good. Um, can't thank East New Market. Them boys, they come down here and work. And, uh, and they've, man, they have fixed everything that we've been paying years to fix and haven't gotten fixed. So can't say enough land tractor, sharing everybody up there. Thank you. Good job. Good morning. I'm going to go hit the last 60 acres of beans we have to spray. I cleaned the sprayer out because these are plenish beans, so I can't use a list or anything. So I cleaned it out this morning. Put another tank in her with some chemical. I put a new, put a new sight tube on her actually see it now how clear it is and then you got the chemical right there at 550 see a little ball that thing was here's the old one right here yeah you couldn't see nothing that thing but John Deere they were pushing me down here today to or they told me Thursday if the parts came in to finish the header up. So I don't know if they'll be here today or tomorrow. They'll probably wait for the parts to get to John Deere, but they, they're normally there first thing in the morning. So and they'll come down and start working on that. I'm going to go ahead and finish up bean spraying. And well, unless we have to spray something later when the wheat beans get really tall, normally you got to spray beans twice. But I've already hit them once. And then normally when it gets tall, you might have some worms trying to eat the pod or some weeds come back. But we'll hit that again at a later date if we need to. Hopefully we won't need to. The last couple years we haven't had to because we've had real big rain later on in the season and it's wiped all the worms out. So that's actually worked out pretty good. You might have to spot spray, but as far as spray spray, everything, we won't have to. So get her. Pretty much done, put away, due to combine hit, and uh, that'll be pretty much it until corn season. Getting everything, you know, the hoppers are ready, the builds are ready, my brother's hauling straw with the one. But other than that, we're pretty much, uh, once we get that corn hit done, everything is uh, ready to roll. So, I don't know. I'd see if Miss Eastern Shore Farmer wants to go on vacation with me or something. We'll see. Oh, and blessing of the combines is this Saturday in Snow Hill. So, if you want to see a combine parade where they shut the whole town down, look it up on the website, blessing of the combines, Snow Hill, Maryland. You'll see a lot of people taking their combines to town. So.
Well, we're gonna go out to dinner, so I figured I would show you the corn while I'm waiting. The ears are definitely getting a lot bigger. All that rain's causing them to really swell up. A lot of them got two, <clears throat> two, and they're two decent ears too. It's not like one big one and one little one. It's, they're really getting to be pretty good. So, still got a long ways to go, but, here, I'll show you this side. I always show you this side. Let me show you this side. <coughs> oh, look at the lines in the yard. Oh, look at the lines. I really need to redo my yard. I keep bringing the field over closer and closer and closer because I'm getting tired of cutting it. Ah, let's see what this looks like. I do got some gaps on this first row because I planted some of the driveway. Or as close as I could anyway. So the driveway is pretty daggone hard. But... Three years on that one. Look at that. That's two good ears, and it's starting a third. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. And it just gets thicker and better the further in you go. Like I said, I replanted this field, that field, and that field. So I probably got 50,000 plus seeds. Hey, Lewis, I got this. This is the grandson. Yes, I see that. Oh, there's the boss lady. So we're either going to have a whole bunch of big ears or a whole bunch of little ears. But either way, I think it's going to add up and do pretty good. But still pretty decent. Still pretty decent. So you get inside, you can see where I did the replant and everything. But I mean, the ears are still good. Still good. All right, we gotta go to dinner. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And subscribe, watch. What else? You know, everything that all the big YouTube stars say. See. You.